it's power sheet season. So listen, it is the time of year where we get to pick our brand new 2022 Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets. And I know that for some, there can be this choice that needs to be made. Do I want to get the new 2022? Or possibly redate and reuse one that I had from 2021 that I really didn't do much in, if anything at all. So if that's where you are right now, this video is for you. Keep watching and I'm going to share three things with you that you may need to consider when making that decision. I hope that these will help you. Um, if they do, leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know. See you all soon. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three things that I believe that might help you through this process of making the decision. This is something that I had to ask myself a few years ago and continue to ask myself each and every year with other planners as well, just to make sure that I am on the right track. I hope that these thoughts to consider will assist you in making your decision. And while you're watching this video, if you already own the power sheets and you have any other words of wisdom, please share them in the comment section below. So keep watching and I'm going to share those thoughts with you right now. So the first thought and or question that I think you really should ask yourself is, am I really going to redate this planner and use it? <laughs> and I know it's a funny question, but it's also a pretty serious one. And we really need to consider us, how we are, how we have been in the past, including in 2021 and decide whether or not we are going to make the necessary change for 2022. For myself, I used to purchase these planners and say to myself that I was going to redate them and reuse them the next year. With doing that, it gave me the permission to move on and purchase something else without feeling like I've wasted my money. However, what I realized was that I didn't redate them. I didn't go back to use it at all. I didn't. And there were several things behind me not going back to do them. Number one, this thing right here, we're not friends. We're not friends at all. And I know that's very weird for a planner person to say, but I do not like whiteout in my planners. Period. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the shade difference between my page and it makes me not want to touch my page again. And so if I'm going to be whiting out the monthly calendar date of the, week, of, of the month and putting a sticker over that, usually it would be a clear sticker for me, it's not going to be visually appealing to me. So I did not go back and use those things that I thought to myself I was going to redate and reuse. I closed up that book and I did not go back to the page. And so for me, that was not an option. Some might say, why don't you use colored stickers? I'm a neutral planner babe at heart and I like to see neutrally done. I don't, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. yes, there are white stickers with black ink on it that you could use to redate a planner. Mm, did I just not mention the color difference? And so because my mind was really that specific and I learned that about myself, I knew that when it comes to redating a monthly calendar, I'm not going to do it. And so for me, um, the option to redate, reuse an older power sheet, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So you need to ask yourself if you're okay with that. 
If you're a person that does not use the monthly calendar in the power sheet anyway and have absolutely no plans or intentions to use it for 2022, then it may not matter to you at all, right? So you may not need to redate anything. All you'll be doing is using the additional pages that have no dates whatsoever at all. So that would clarify that question for you as whether or not you are going to redate and reuse. So what else would we need to consider when we're deciding to reuse a previous power sheet versus getting the new one? Another thing that I think is very important to consider is are there any significant changes in the power sheet between 2021 to 2022 that would be worth it for you to purchase the new one? Now, significant change is going to be different for each person. What I consider to be a significant change, you may definitely not consider to be a significant change. For example, in the brand new 2022 power sheet, on this page, the Keep Moving Forward page, there are now five questions, five questions that you're going to be asked. Last year, there were only four. The question that's making a difference this year is, which goal have you made the most progress on so far? Now, this is going to be inside of your quarterly refresh section. So you're going to have a few of these um, refreshes per year. I personally am not going to want to remember to write this in nor to ask myself this question when it comes to a refreshing. And so for me, right there, I think that's worth it, okay, with that change. There are additional wording changes in the power sheets this year also that I personally think are significant. You may not. But once you watch a video that has these changes that shares with you last year's compared to this, this year's, you can decide what you want to do. Another change on the very next page for me is the word of the quarter box. So in this um, section last year's, it did not have a space for the word of the quarter. And so now I'm able to add or change up my word of the quarter depending on what's happening, what I'm cultivating that quarter. I actually love this because already for 2022, there are several words that are flowing through my mind and through the goals that I'm already thinking about setting that I want to be able to use instead of just picking one word for the year. And so this allows me to um, add on a quarterly basis as I see my goals are transitioning, right? And so that is something that I really do appreciate on this refreshed goal page um, as well. So those are just an example of two little things that, that have changed, but to me, it's worth me getting the new one. Okay, y'all. So the last thing that I want to share with you um, is kind of controversial in this planner community, possibly, and it's your budget. It's your budget. You have to consider your budget. There's several ways that I'm going to share with you to consider your budget, right? So please don't come for Tamara in the comment section because she's minding some money. I had to mind my own money. I'm just sharing with you some thoughts and some process that I had to go through to come to my realization, right? My come to Jesus moment, I'm sharing it with you. So what's the first thing? The first thing is, did I plan for this purchase? Yes or no? Did I budget for this purchase? Yes or no? If you did not budget for this pur purchase and it's going to stretch your budget to the limit where you're going over, then you may consider reusing the one that you had from 2021 and put in your budget for 2023, right? Because we're going to have this launch by God's grace next year again. So 
put that in your budget or what I like to call my spending plan, okay? Because the word budget tells me what I can't spend, but my spending plan tells me what I can. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. So I had to put that in my spending plan. Um, the second part of considering that is really, really and truly, really. I had to pull myself up because even though I was saying that they were too expensive at the same time, I was subscribing to Simply Gilded. And every single month, $40 was coming out of my bank account to pay for that sub box. If you know anything about the Simply Gilded sub box, you already know you're subscribed for three month minimum. And once you subscribe to Simply Gilded, it's very hard to unsubscribe because it's so pretty. It's so beautiful, right? Um, and so I had to look at where the money was coming from for me to pay for that Simply Gilded. Y'all, $40 a month, 12 month long. I'm going to need you to add that up real quick, like, okay, add that up. And so at the same time, I was saying I could not afford to get my power sheets, but I was getting that. In addition to my Simply Gilded subscription, y'all, I was occasionally buying the Villa Beautiful kit. And the Villa Beautiful kit is $35.50 right now, plus shipping. Come on. And... Um, you don't know for the year what is going to be produced. And so you have really a short time to make that decision and purchase it. So when I see a neutral color one that I wanted to buy, guess what I did? I made that decision and I purchased it. Even though it wasn't in my budget. I did because I saw it and I wanted it and so I got it. And so, <laughs> whoo, and so I had to say to myself, listen, for the price of one Villa Beautiful kit and one Simply Gilded sub box plus shipping, you can get your power sheets. And the power sheets are an investment in you. They're an investment in your future. They're inve it's an investment in you cultivating what matters. And this is any goal setting system that you have your eye on, that you're deciding that you want to use, not just the, 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 the power sheets, right? And so I had, to, I had to allow myself to be snatched up um, about that. And so I make sure that before anything else is in my budget on a yearly basis, my goal setting workbook is in there because that is an investment in myself. It's an investment in becoming a better me into growth, right? And so I had to make sure that I plan for that purchase. If you decide to get a bundle, one of the most popular bundle, which is the one that I did go ahead and get this year, is $99. And if you divide that by 12, it's $8.25 per month. Of course, you're going to add yourself some taxes and possibly shipping, depending on which one you purchase, and that would be um, what you would pay. Now, previously, I only purchased the power sheet because I had all these planty packs from Erin Condren because a girl needs planty packs, okay, to match her on-the-go folio. Let's just say that. Uh, but I have those, and so I have. I was able to use those instead of the power sheet um, pouch. But this year, I decided to go ahead and get the bundle. And I decided to get the bundle mainly because of my growth with the power sheet, and now knowing what I will and will not utilize throughout the year and how. So in the bundle, and I'm, I'm, I don't have one of the items with me right now, but I'm going to show you the rest that I have. It, within the bundle, you're going to get your power sheet, which like I said, is $62. There's so many colors, six colors this year for you to choose from. So I hope you're able to make your color choice. Let me know in the comment section what color you are going to be on. Hashtag team green. Come with it. Come with it. You know. Um, in addition to that, you will be able to get the pouch, which I think goes really, really well 
with the green. I love how they are this year. I will say that what I have noticed is this pouch is slightly smaller than the pouch from last year. Last year pouch was a little larger, maybe an inch, maybe an inch or so um, in, with the difference. The pouch is already $20. So if you're interested in the pouch, you're getting this is 62, this is already 70, $82, right? Then you're getting the goal setting sticker book. The goal setting sticker book is like $15, I believe. So you're already looking at over 90 something dollars. You're also going to get a tending tape, which I saw someone use this in an amazing way. It's amazing to me. And that's what I'm going to do this year with the tending tape. So you also get a magnetic bookmark as well in it for the $99. Um, what I would say is if you don't think you're going to need those, then don't get them. Be okay with only getting this. But if you feel like you're going to be missing out and not by not getting the other items, go ahead and get it. Over $100, you get free shipping. And so what I added to my order, which y'all, I would definitely recommend this, is the wild card um, sheet, okay? It's the snap-in wild card sheet. I got this not to use for a wild card sheet, but just to be able to use as a page turner, bookmarker, um, and protector for my power sheet. So if I'm writing on this side, I have something already to protect this once it's down on the surface. So I absolutely love that. I do like the option of um, taping something to this to if I need it for the section that I'm working in. So I did order two of them. Okay, I did order two of them. I also did order the page marker and I have it upside down because I'm a bottom turn page turner, not a top one. Um, and I, this is probably not for me, right? That's a no for me. So, so I prefer the other one, but it's up to you which one you like. That is, the, it's $8 for the wild card um, holder. Go ahead, add that to your order. It's like getting the item for free plus free shipping as well. So it will be just a little over $100 for that. In the description box of this video, I do have a referral link. I would appreciate it if you use that referral link if you're going to purchase the power sheet. I will end this video by saying, y'all, this is your choice. This is your decision. Make the decision that you are going to be happy and content with. If you choose to reuse your 2021 power sheets, you're still going to grow as long as you use it. As long as you use it. If you choose to get a brand new 2022 one, because you, I just want the new new. I just want the new new and because I'm going to use it. Then do that because it's a good investment in you if you use it, right? But do not make these purchases if you are not going to be using them. These tools are worthless if you purchase them and they're just sitting at home, y'all. You've got to write on these pages. Over the past two years, I can tell you that I have seen my growth inside my power sheets and in my planner because of the power sheets. I've gone from, I don't want to write on the pages at all and ordering a name sticker, writing on sticky notes on every single page, right? To half sticky notes, half writing on the pages, right? To not wanting to use my monthly calendar, to my intention is to definitely use my monthly calendars in 2022 because I've started using them now in 2021. I didn't use them all year, but it's okay because it's all about progress and not perfection. It's all about learning to give yourself grace, knowing that life is fluid and it changes and so do you. But it's so much about learning about becoming the person who you want to be. Learning that, 
knowing that and making those small changes to becoming her, to becoming him, right? Um, and so, y'all, I'm excited about this new Power Sheet launch. I hope that you are. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I will get back to you and answer what I can. Launch day is um, on tomorrow <laughs> when you're seeing this video which is October the 6th, 2021 at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be on my morning tea here on my channel and I will be going from 8 to about 10, 15 or so because we're going to be doing some live ordering with some folks, just guiding them through the process as well if they need any help. So I hope that you got something out of this this video if you did let me know in the comment section down below thank you so much for your love and your support y'all and i look forward to seeing you on the next video bye bye